No one wants any member of their family to have surgery. And it's especially important to understand that parents of young children, especially parents of babies, are very concerned and anxious about the fact that their child might need an operation. Hernia is a weakness in the wall of a structure which allows uh, contents uh, on one side of that wall to get through the wall to the other side. The hernias of the abdominal wall, in children especially, include umbilical hernias or hernias in the belly button area, or inguinal hernias or hernias in the groin area. The symptoms uh, might be initially the same with an umbilical hernia as with an inguinal hernia. Again, it's a bulge. The bulge occurs as a result of a weakness in the anterior abdominal wall through which the bowel has pushed itself. And uh, often the reason the bowel uh, pushes out is because the child is increasing intra-abdominal pressure. That happens when the child cries, for instance. The children will also have the hernia appear in times when they are playing. Again, when they are playing and exerting themselves through play, they're having a good time, but they're increasing intra-abdominal pressure. Often the hernia will be noticed for the first time while bathing the child. Children often play during bathing and the hernia comes out. The surgical treatment of the umbilical hernia involves closing the fascial hole with which the hernia is associated. And this involves sutures that are actually taken through the fascia or thick tissue of the abdominal wall. In contrast, the surgery for an inguinal or groin hernia involves the ligation or suturing shut of the sac as it emerges from the abdominal cavity and removal of the excess sac. Education for the parents is a very important component in helping them to understand what surgery is necessary and why that surgery is necessary. It is important, therefore, to sit with the parents, to answer their questions fully, uh, to ask them questions relative to understanding to ensure that they are really knowledgeable in the right way about what is going to be done, why it needs to be done, and what to expect and our child life specialists uh, are specially trained to help uh, anxious parents and their children adjust to the fact that they're going to have surgery. We have cho toys for the children, uh, we have music and games for the children uh, that they can play to distract them uh, while they're waiting uh, from the surgical event that is about to occur. Uh, we try to uh, explain to the family what's happening and put them at ease as well. And the child life specialists are a very important component in facilitating this kind of adjustment for the parents. The Floating Hospital for Children uh, will provide excellent pediatric anesthesia and pediatric surgical care of children who have umbilical uh, and or uh, inguinal hernias. Our staff is specifically trained in uh, pediatric care and uh, is well experienced in uh, treating these conditions in children. It is important to recognize that surgeons who are trained in pediatric surgery to take care of children are specifically trained to recognize the differences uh, in the anatomy of the infant hernia and the childhood hernia versus the anatomy of the adult hernia, which is often quite different and requires a different surgical procedure to remedy the problem. So we don't apply, in many instances, exactly the same techniques to fix a hernia in the groin area in children that an adult surgeon would apply to fix a hernia in the groin area in, a, in the adult patient. And it's an important distinction.